Attorney Ben Crump represents a number of family members of those killed Saturday on Sapelo Island, Georgia. The victims were among hundreds of people that day boarding ferries to return home after a cultural festival on the Barrier Island. On Tuesday, time. some tearfully recalled the terrifying moment a metal gangway collapsed. I heard a crack. Regina Brinson and her uncle were among about 20 people who were plunged into the water. She says he panicked and was pulling her under. I had to take it, his fingers one by one and peel them over my shirt. And I floated back up to the top and I saw his face and I was like, oh my God, what did I do? Her uncle and six others died, all between the ages of 73 and 93. As the local investigation goes on, some witnesses say overcrowding could be to blame. They just told everybody to go. And that was too many people. We were elbow to elbow pushing. In a statement, Georgia's Department of Natural Resources says the gangway was inspected last December and no concerns were found. I'm sure anything that's man-made has some type of limit. I don't know what that is. Finding that out is one of many answers Crump and his clients will pursue. We want to make sure that the 707 isn't forgotten, isn't swept under the rug. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting.